tonight on the Mana Cave, part two of Tiny Leaders, Ed's Tuck Tuck the Explorer deck versus Steve's Messy Eaters deck. It's normal for a red aggro deck to go 45 minutes, right? Welcome to the Mana Cave. Hey everyone, welcome to the Mana Cave. My name is Steve. I'm Ed. We're playing Tiny Leaders. Yes. Yes. We went over the rules a little bit last game, but we need we need commanders. We need leaders. Yes, we need it's tiny, 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 tiny little leaders. Little yes. leaders, three mana leaders. Um, and my leader for this game is uh, is a blood chinned fanatic orc warrior. It's it's against the rules for me to have this guy as a leader, but I made a mistake. Why is it against the rules? Because you need legendary creatures. Legendary. Why don't you tell us about your legendary leader? Um. Before I do that, okay. let me just say that I get to play a card I don't think I've played at all ever in the history of the Mana Cave. Really? Yes, That's which crazy. is a mountain. Because I am playing a mono-red Tiny Leader's deck, and my tiny, tiny leader is Tuck Tuck the Explorer. <laughs> For uh, two and one red, I get to cast a legendary goblin creature. He's a 1-1 one, one with haste, but... When Tuck Tuck the Explorer dies, put a legendary 5-5 five, five colorless uh, goblin golem artifact creature token named Tuck Tuck the Returned onto the battlefield. So that will be my little leader. What? Yes. So that that I'm very excited to play Mono Red because I've never had a chance to. It's um, epic. Yeah, I don't think I've even played a red deck against you guys casually. I really don't think I've, I've, I've played a mountain at all in playing in a very, very long time. So I'm excited about that. Um, the other thing about Tiny Leaders, 25 uh, life total, right? 25 life total, absolutely. Uh, it's a singleton format, which means that we're all going to only have one of each card other than the basic land in our deck. Nice. One copy at max. And 50 card decks. Including the leader, which stays out into the command zone. Is that what it's called? Uh, the leader, the leader, I don't know. Command zone. The batting command cage. Zone. Oh. The batting <laughs> cage, there we go. <laughs> and what happens when the Tiny Leader dies? Um, he, he gets more expensive to come back. Uh, he costs two more mana to bring back from the uh, from the afterlife. Uh, those are some wicked new dice you got there, Gor. I, you know what? I, these are my uh, these are my B team dice okay. because I left my normal six sided dice at home, so I had to make do with what I had. <laughs> Luckily, I have a, a lot of a lot of dice, so sure. it was okay. Okay. So what are their names? What are their names? The dice. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you'd have like a. You know, B.A. Baracus, like an A.T. name, but an one for each dice. Sorry. It's Face, it's Hannibal, uh, <laughs> that's Howling Mad and Murdoch. They're two guys, two sure. separate guys. So is there anything else you can think of that we need to explain as far as Tiny Leaders goes? Not that I'm aware. Okay. Do we, we've already determined our opening hands, but we're going to roll to see who goes first. first. Four. Oh, is that the first time there's been a tie? I think so. This is a huge mana cave for firsts. Oh wow! I win. Don't usually lose a five, but I guess I, I guess I am this time. So this is this is great. I love this. Okay, so I'm assuming you're going to want to play first as opposed to give me the play. That's right. Okay, so Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a swamp? That was a swamp. Okay. I'm going to play an Ancient Tomb. Ancient Tomb is a land, and I can tap it to add two colorless to my mana pool. Uh, however, Ancient Tomb deals two damage to me when I do that. So I will now pass the turn to you. You take full advantage of this whole, uh, you know, any any uh, format. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Sol Ring which is an artifact that both Travis and I wanted to originally put in our deck, is banned in this format. Uh, otherwise, that would definitely be in, instead of the Ancient Tomb. So I'm going with Ancient Tomb. Fair enough. I don't have the fancy Expedition version of the Ancient Tomb. It is the only Expedition I think, if I were to open up, I probably would actually keep as opposed to selling for the money. So hmm. I like Ancient Tomb. Sorry, go on. Uh, no, I don't Sorry, know I'm, anything I'm, about Ancient Tomb. I'm holding Tomb. up your turn. I apologize. It's all, it's all good. A hand of Salumgar. This is a replaying of last game so far for me. Uh, your turn. My it's, turn. Oh, it's a it's a two one with death touch. It's two, a two one with warrior. Death touch. 
Excellent. Okay, so draw. Go play mountain. I'm going to tap my ancient tomb. I'm going to take two. So I'm at 23. Okay. I got two colors coming my way though. Tap my mountain. I'm going to bring out Tuck Tuck the Explorer. <laughs> Now he's got haste, right? But I am not going to swing it for an attack. I will pass the turn to you instead. All right. I will tap three mana to bring out Blood Chin Fanatic, um, and I will attack you with a two-one Death Touch. And I will block you with Tuck Tuck. Okay. So they trade? They trade. So Tuck Tuck will now cost me five to bring out again. Is that correct? So he's died, he's died. I'm just going to put this to remind myself. So he's died once. Good call. And I'm going to bring out Tuck Tuck the Returned. The big old 5-5 five five legendary uh, Goblin Golem. Sure. <laughs> so. Tuck Tuck the Returned. Uh, okay. That was fun. <laughs> Your turn. My turn? Okay. I'm going to swing in with Tuck Tuck the Return. Now, does he have a color? He is, in fact, colorless, yes. Okay. Okay. Uh... Is colorless a color? No, no. Colorless is, is sadly just color. So if you had, for example, a card which is kill non-black creature, right. that would kill it. Right. If you had a uh, card that said kill monocolor, yeah. then that one wouldn't work. Okay. Just based on possibilities you could have in your hand. Sure. Yeah, I uh, I take the hit. You take the full, hit. Full five damage. Full My five. goodness. So you're at 20. I am. Okay, so I'm going to play a mountain. Okay. And he is a 3-3, three, three, correct? Yes. 3-3. Three, three. Okay. I will tap the Ancient Tomb, go down to 21. And I'm going to tap one of my mountains. Okay. And bring out uh, Girifer Gearcrafter. I believe that's how you pronounce his first name. And when Girifer enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 one, one Colas Thopter artifact creature token with flying onto the battlefield. Oh. So I'm going to grab a Thopter token, oops, slap that down right there. Just one. Just one. He just gets one. He just gets one. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> and I will... I'm going to pass the turn to you. All right. All right. Uh... I will put down Swamp. I will... Tattoo man to bring out Malakar Callblade. Okay. I will. And what is what does he do? Oh, sorry. Malakar Callblade is a vampire warrior, very impressive looking one. When a creature an opponent control dies, put a one one counter on Malakar Callblade. Okay. All right. Uh, I am going to tap two mana to cast Malicious Affliction. Um. When you cast Malicious Affliction, if a creature died this turn, which it didn't, I may copy it. Okay. Uh, but generally speaking, it destroys non-black creature. Okay. And that would be my target. Oh. Oh. Tuck Tuck's Poor Tuck -tuck. Golem has now left. Has now left us, sadly. Mm -hmm. Um. I will attack you with my uh, leader. With your leader. Okay, I'm actually going to double block. Oh, snap! You didn't. I did. I did! <laughs> oh, they're all dead. They're all dead. <laughs> However, your guy gets a 1-1 one, one counter, correct? That's right. That's right. Now, if I had been paying attention, he would have two, right? But I didn't. So he only has one. What was, the, what was it? Whenever a creature an opponent control dies, put a 1-1 one, one counter on... 
Oh, no, opponent. No, 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 then put two on. Put two on now. I thought it was creatures you control. So, no, by all means, yes, put okay. two on. For okay. sure. All right. Sure? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't skip out on my account. Okay. Um, Your turn. My turn. Okay. You play Mountain. I'm going to take two from Ancient Tomb, putting me down to eight or 19. So set that aside. And one red, and bring out the Crowan Sergeant, which is a first striker, 2-2 uh, two, two creature, with renown. So when this creature deals combat damage to a player, if it isn't renown, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it, and it becomes renowned. And... Nice. I will pass the turn to you, sir. All right. Untap. Another swamp. I have five swamps in total. You do indeed. I tap three mana to bring out Fellhide Pacifier. Okay. <laughs> Petrifier. <laughs> uh, could be a pacifier, too. It could be. It's a, a Minotaur Warrior with Death Touch. Other Minotaurs I control have Death Touch. I have no other Minotaurs. I tap two more mana to bring out a Bad Moon Enchantment. Okay. Which gives black creatures plus one plus one. Okay. Straight up. Um, so it would help you too if you had black, but you don't. I do not, no. Um I'll 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 attack with my Malachar Coldblade. Okay. Now before you attack, you remember he's got first strike, right? Y yes. Okay. <laughs> and first <laughs> no, strike yes. just 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 to clarify this, because I'm gonna block. First right. strike damage happens before the rest of the damage. Right. Okay. Just so you know. So it's going to... First strike damage will resolve before... Your instant. Before any other damage. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to block okay. him. And I'm going to tap okay. two and cast Magma Jet. Magma Jet deals two damage to target creature or player. That will be the creature. And I get to scry two. So that resolves? Yes. Okay. Yes. So now he has got two damage on him, resting on him. I'm going to scry two. I just, I, should I add this guy's plus two, plus two? Plus one, plus one? Yes, yeah. so he is a four, four. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Norm, actually, you don't have to add it onto the counter thing. That's just, it's, but add that into the total of his health for sure. Okay. So. I will. Okay. I'll put that back in this order here. He's calculating. Okay. So then we go into damage phase. It resolves. Yes. So your creature dies first from first strike damage. Yes. Okay. Wah, wah, wah. Boop, boop. But he's still there. He's, he's still there. He's a 3-2. So. He's got a, a severed head and horns. He's got all this stuff. He's got all this stuff. Okay. My turn? Wait. Wasn't that your turn? No. No, that was your attack. Yeah. Oh, your turn. Go ahead. Okay, I'm going to play a mountain. <laughs> I'm going to tap Ancient Tomb again. I'm going to go down to 17. It'd be funny if I kill myself with Ancient Tomb. Uh, go down to 17. I figured out why this guy is called Petrifier. Because he's holding the Medusa hat? Yes. Yes. <laughs> that just occurred to me. <laughs> to, uh... The artist would hit me if I was... <laughs> <laughs> I'm tap uh, tapping three additional mountains, so I got five, and I'm going to bring out Tuck Tuck the Explorer again. Oh! That guy, I hate that guy. <laughs> and I will... He's got Death Touch, right? Yes. Okay, and I will pass the turn to you. I like that you're winning. You haven't hit me yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll pay the five mana. Okay. To get. To bring my commander back. Oh, okay. 
You had him in the graveyard. I had him in the graveyard. Such mistreatment of your commander. I know, I know. Well, he's messy. He's got a <laughs> bloody chin. Uh, so, yes. I'm good. Your turn. My turn. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to tap into Tomb, take another 2 damage, so I'm down to 15. So I got two colorless floating. Okay. I'm going to tap two red okay. and cast Hordling Outburst, which is put three 1-1 one, one red goblin creature tokens onto the battlefield. Shut up, really? Yep. Oh, snap. So I'm going to put three mean. goblin tokens onto the battlefield. And I am going to then... I've got one colorless floating still. I'm going to tap one mountain and bring out Generator uh, Servant, which is a 2-1, and it has tap, sacrifice, Generator Servant, add two colors to your mana pool. If that mana is spent on a creature spell, it gains haste until the end of turn. <laughs> and I am going to then pass the turn to you. All right, I will tap two mana to bring out Nyxborn Eidolon. Eidolon? Okay. It has a bestow option, but um, honestly, I don't need a powerful creature. I need a lot of creatures. <laughs> so, but this guy is boost boosted by my bad moon. Yes, indeed. Okay, your turn. My turn? Yep. Okay, I'm going to swing in with all of my goblins. Mm -hmm. And the Acroan Sergeant. Alright. I will... Block, 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 and cast an instant. Okay. Ultimate price. Destroy target monocolored creature. On this one, yeah. yeah. All righty. So the goblins all die. Okay, so everything resolves? Yes, everything resolves. Okay. All your guys take one point of damage. Yes. Okay. Now, I'm going to tap one red, and the Ancient Tomb, putting me down to 13. So I'm bringing out War Named Aspirant, which is raid, and when it enters the battlefield with it with, or sorry, War Named Aspirant enters the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter on it if you attacked with a creature this turn. Um, it can't be blocked by creatures with power one or less, so that doesn't really matter. So it is a 3-2 creature. I am then going to, I got one colorless still floating. I am then going to tap three mountains, okay. along with the one colorless that I have. Four in total. Four in total. And cast Crater's Claw. Uh, Crater's Claw deals X damage to target creature or player. I'm going to go for the creature, and I'm going to go for uh, your leader. Okay. How much damage does that do? That would do three in total to it. That would kill that my would kill. blood chain fanatic. Yeah. Sorry, that's why I wanted to not mess up the math because I have a bad habit of casting, like shooting first, casting first, and and asking questions later. So, I am now going to pass the turn to you. Okay. Tap two mana for this guy. And what is he? He's a Culligan. Culligan's Skirmisher. Human Warrior. 2-2. Two, two. Has a dash option, but I didn't use it. Okay. I'm good. Okay. My turn? <laughs> <laughs> I put my leader in my graveyard once again. He's going he's gonna to come out, right? He keeps going there because he's ashamed he's not legendary. 
<laughs> I keep trying to talk him up, you know. It's okay, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I made it work, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Tapping Ancient Tomb. Ain't tapping Ancient Tomb. I'm down to 11 because I'm taking two more damage from Ancient Tomb. <laughs> In editing, I am very curious as to how much damage I've done to myself with Ancient Tomb. Yeah. There'll be a total. <laughs> I'm then, probably. I then tapping all of my mountains. All four. Yes, all four. So I've got four red and two colorless. Sure. Six in total. You know what? Tap and sacrifice generators. I see Generator the switch. trouble on its way. So now I've got four colorless, two red yes. on top of... I'm going to cast Fireball. So i am then got six X, dividing that evenly, three and three. Right. With him. Nyxborn. And him. Eidolon. And Corrigan Skirmisher. Yes. Doing three damage each. To those I have two creatures. no cards in my hand, uh, but plenty of mana. I'm going to let that resolve. And I will pass the turn to you. Okay. I'll attack. You will attack. And he is a... 2-3. Uh, 2-4, uh, right? Or 3-4. Three, 3-4. Four. Three, four. Three, four. Yes. Three, four. So I will double block. All right. I will tap 3 mana. Okay. Um, for uh, um, sudden spoiling. Uh, <laughs> Sounds bad. <laughs> it's got split second. As long as the spell is on the stack, players can't cast spells or activate abilities that aren't mana abilities. Okay. Till the end of the turn, creatures target player controls lose all abilities and have their base power and toughness 0, 2. Okay. Assuming everything works out the way I think it does, I'd like to assign my damage to him. You can you can split it between the two of them. You can wipe them both out if you wanted to. Oh. <laughs> I'd put one damage on him and two damage on him. Perfect. Okay. So Tuck Tuck goes back to the command zone. He's got two on him now, so he's going to cost me uh, two, four, six, seven to cast. Whew. And your creature <laughs> survives in the end. That's... All right. <laughs> okay. Um, I think that's it. That's your, it? Your turn. My turn. I'm going to tap one red and cast Magma Magmic Insight. As an additional cost to cast Magmic Insight, discard a land card. So I'm going to be discarding... Uh, Nykthos, Shrine of Nyx, or Shrine to Nyx. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, and then draw two cards. Okay. So, drawing two. Huh. I'm then going to tap an Ancient Tomb. Put myself down to nine. <laughs> and Can't tap. you use it as a regular land? <laughs> And tap all this red here. So, one red, and then one, two, three, four, of whatever. Okay. And cast Fall of Titans, Fall of the Titans for its surge cost, which is X and one red. Fall of the Titans deals X damage to each of up to two target creatures and or players. So, I'm going to do four to uh, your creature, mm -hmm. and then four to you. Okay. I'll take that. I don't have an answer for that, I mean. So then your creature dies. Yes. It's unfortunate, but... And I am going to then play a Forgotten Caves. Forgotten Caves enters the battlefield tapped, and I can tap it to add one red. It also had cycling, but that didn't matter because I'm going to play it. And I will pass the turn to you now. Okay. Your turn. My turn? Okay. 
I am going to tap two and bring out Abbot of Carol Keep. It is a 2-1 human monk with prowess, uh, which means that whenever you cast a non-creature spell, this creature gets uh, plus one, plus one until the end of turn. And when Abbot of Carol Keep enters the battlefield, exile the top card of your library. Until the end of turn, you may play that card. So I will exile. I understand completely. Sounds fascinating. I'm still going to read Huh. <laughs> Man, the thing. This is probably the only card that I could have exiled which wouldn't actually help. That is unfortunate. I'm exiling a Act on Impulse, which is exile the top three cards of your library until the end of turn you may play cards exiled this way. So that kind of sucks, um, because even if I were to cast it, I would... I, would, I was hoping I'd be able to cast something else. Sure. Without taking another two damage. Um, so instead, yeah, I'm going to just... That just gets exiled. I'm not going to cast it. I am going to cast Subterranean Scout for two, which is a 2-1, and when Subterranean Scout enters the battlefield, target creature with power two or less can't be blocked this turn. It's not going to matter, because he can't be blocked, but he also doesn't have haste, so he can't attack. So I will pass the turn to you now. All right. Okay. I wish I had Travis's wand. Putting down a, uh, a mana. Um, tap all seven to bring out my leader. Woo! Sounds good. Sounds great. Um, your turn. Okay. I would do other things, but I'm tapped out. Okay. I'm going to play Mirrored Landscape, and whenever Mirrored Landscape enters the battlefield, or, it, sorry, it enters the battlefield tapped, and then I can tap it for one colorless, or I can pay two and sacrifice it and search my library for up to two basic land cards that share a land type, put them under the battlefield tapped, then shuffle my library. So that, but that just is tapped right now. So I will... Take seven. Or take two. <laughs> take two to go down to seven. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Bring out Tuck Tuck the Explorer. And pass the turn to you. Okay. This is going to be interesting, Steve. It's going to be interesting. That's super interesting. All right. Um... Tap two mana to bring out Sultai Emissary, which is a zombie warrior. 1-1 okay. one, one with the ability to manifest if it dies. Okay. Um, I'll attack you. With him. With him? My blood chin fanatic. Okay. He's a 4-4, four, four, correct? Block him with both the Abbot and the Subterranean Scout. Okay. Um. Shoot. Before he dies, I'd like to activate his ability. Sure. Tap two mana to sacrifice another warrior creature. Okay. Target player loses X life, and I gain X life where X is the sacrificed creature's power. So I'm down one. And I'm up one. And this guy dies. Yes, he does. And then damage goes through, I think. Indeed. Okay. So he's dead. Yeah. They're dead. Back in the command zone. In the command zone. In the command zone. In the command zone. <laughs> right. Uh, your turn. And manifest, right? Your turn. <laughs> My turn. Okay. It's the nail biter. It is. I'm 
I'll pass the turn to you. You'll pass the turn to me? Yep. Okay. Now, if I cast an enchantment on a manifesting creature, mm -hmm. and they manifest... It stays on. It stays on. Tap two, two mana. I mean, I'll put down a swamp. <laughs> I'll tap, tap two mana. <laughs> and then I will um, enchant my manifesting creature with eternal thirst. Enchanted creature has lifelink, and whenever a creature in opponent control dies, gets plus one, plus one counter on this creature. Okay. Yikes. Lifelink. That's rough. Okay. <laughs> Here go. Before the end of your turn, I'm going to tap two. Okay. Tap and sack the uh, landscape. Okay. And I'm going to grab two basic lands. That share a type. They both share the type mountain. They come into play tap. No. Okay. Shuffle. <laughs> so they're doing the pro turn. They look, they, look, they look anywhere but on the cards. You don't have to look away. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to run out of cards. <laughs> <laughs> we could deck each other. That's possible. All right. So now it's my turn. So untap. Gonna tap three and bring out Goblin Rabble Master. He is a two-two Goblin Warrior. Other Goblin creatures you control attack each turn if able. At the beginning of combat, on your turn, put a one-one red Goblin creature token uh, with haste on the battlefield. Whenever Goblin Rabble Master attacks, it gets plus one plus zero until the end of turn for each other attacking Goblin. So. He's a goblin. He has to attack. I create a 1-1 one, one goblin token. Okay. With haste onto the battlefield. Okay, so. And, uh, so there we go. You got two goblins coming in at you. Okay, I take it. You take it? Okay. So I'm down to 15. You're down to 15, sir. Okay. It's my turn. Oh, yeah, sorry. I, pa I, I passed the turn <laughs> okay. to you. My apologies. No, I should have said that. No worries. I'm just being overly cautious. No, no, no. That's good. It's good. All right. I will put down another swamp. And I think that means I have nine swamps available. Okay. I'm going to tap them all. Sounds good. To bring in my Blood Chin Fanatic. Okay. We're both top decking right now, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's down. Well, no, I got one card. Sorry, I got one card oh, in hand. Okay. Apologies. I'm going to make sure I know what's going on here. This is crazy. <laughs> All right, your turn. My turn? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go to combat. And these are all, sorry, these are all attacking, I should say. Sorry. Doesn't the Rabbit Master have to attack too? Uh, other goblin creatures you control attack each turn of Able. Now I get that, why that card's so awesome. Yeah. It was like 20 bucks at one point or something like that. Like, <laughs> I'll take why? it. You'll take it? Okay. So you take three. Dude. This is my first time seeing the Rabbit Master in action though. Oh, it's, cheap, yeah, it's no problem. I was too cheap to buy one and uh, you never play with it. <laughs> I, uh, 
On my second main phase, I'm putting down Mage Ring Network, which is I can tap it for one mana, one colorless mana, or I can pay uh, one, tap it, put a storage counter on Mage Ring Network, and then re tap it, remove X storage counters from Mage Ring Network, add X to your mana pool. And I pass the turn to you. Not to be confused with Soul Ring. <laughs> Not to be confused with Soul Ring, though. Your turn. My turn? Yep. The end of your turn. Tap one, put a one one charge or a one charge counter on Mage Ring. So I can find the one. And then Okay. Gonna tap two. Okay. Bring out Hero's Blade. Equipped creature gets plus three, plus two. Whenever a legendary creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may attach Hero's Blade to it. The equip cost for this is four. Okay. So I'm going to I'm gonna pay four. Yeah, I'll pay four. And I will equip this. I'm going to equip it onto the Rabble Master. So the Rabble Master is now a 5-4. Okay, now we'll move to the combat phase. Mm -hmm. is that, unless you have something you want to do first. I have nothing I want to do yet. Okay. So then the goblins come in, and they're all attacking. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it? Okay. I'm down to 8. You were down... What were you before? 12. Then you're down to 18. Alrighty. And I pass the turn to you. Cool. <laughs> okay, before the end of your turn, tap. I'm going to put another counter on Mage Ring. Okay. Okay. And now I'll tap everything. Sorry, I'm just going to straighten these up. No, by all means. Just for the record, you can't sacrifice a creature twice, can you? No. No, you can only sacrifice it once, unfortunately. I didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to play a mountain. I'm going to pay four, move the equipment card to Tuck Tuck, the Explorer. Okay. So Tuck Tuck is now a four three. Okay. And uh, unless you, you can I move the move the combat? Sure. Okay. So then the goblins go in attacking. Additional token as well too. And additional token. I'll block these guys. You'll block those guys. Mm -hmm. So you'll be taking one, two, uh, three, four, five, six. Yes, six damage. Okay. So you take six. Mm -hmm. You gain two, right? Because that gets life link. I gain one. Oh, no, it's a 2-2, because it's, still... it's still doing 2 damage. Too. Right, okay. Okay. So, these two die. Right. And, um, does that mean... Yes, I have... this guy gets a plus 2. He gets a plus 2? What was that, sorry? Uh, because Eternal Thirst, he gets a plus 1, plus 1 counter for every creature of yours that dies. So, I apologize. No, please... Never. I want a return opponent I'm... dies. Put a plus one, plus one counter on the screen. That that'll do it. Yeah. Okay. So these are tapped. I'm then going to pay four and move the equipment over to the rabble master. Okay. And I pass the turn to you. Okay. Ok, 
Okay, I'll put this down. I will. Um, I can't believe I'm doing this. I don't have a choice. Uh, I'm gonna. Did flip. you take four yeah. damage last time? Oh, no, sorry. I'm down to two. No, no, you're down. To, you're only took. Two, you only took four because remember you took six, but you gained two back, so you would be down. You would be down to four, not two. Right. Yeah. Down and then up. Right. Yeah. Got it. Got it. I'm gonna manifest this guy. Okay. Okay. Which is a uh, flesh bag marauder. Okay. Zombie warrior for three mana. Okay. Um, and then which are you gonna sacrifice? This guy. That guy. Okay. I will sacrifice Goblin Token. Okay. So now... Command zone. Right. <laughs> um, I will... <sighs> this didn't work out the way I wanted it to. All right, I will... Tap, I will cast Black Sun's Zenith. Okay. Which is a sorcery, uh, which is two mana and X. I will tap the rest of my mana. Okay. Uh, put X 1-1 one, one counters on each creature. Shuffle Black Sun Zenith into owner's library. Okay. Put X. How many, wait, so how many counters is that going to be? So that kills your guy as well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So he goes to the command zone. And then my... Sorry, let me find my... Unless I put that in the graveyard as well, too, which, given what I've been doing... Oh my god, I just killed myself, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's okay. So this is it my turn? Yeah, it's your turn. Okay. <laughs> We don't know. I don't know what you got in your hand, because you still got a card in your hand, right? I do. Okay, I'm going to pay three. I bring up Hall of Triumph. As Hall of Triumph enters the battlefield, choose a color. Red. Creatures you control of the chosen color get plus one, plus one. He's not red, though. He is colorless. Uh, I'm going to pay... I'm going to tap and remove two counters to create two colorless. One... Two, I'm going to move the equipment over to Tuck Tuck. Okay. I'm going to swing it for an attack. All right. And that's game. That's oh, game, Steve, sir. I feel bad, no, man. No, no, oh, no. Oh, my God. That was, the math was... Oh, what I, I needed another creature, right? I could So I could flip the Fleshbag Marauder and then sacrifice another warrior. Oh. Or no, so I can... Yeah, so I could do the damage to you directly from the sacrificed warrior, you know? Dude, I... Oh. I Anyway, this was the card. I've never <laughs> won and felt so bad before because that was, um, yeah, that was, I thought that was your game, especially at the end there. I was like, I am so screwed. <laughs> I'll, I'll be perfectly honest with you. This, this is where I screwed up. All right. I forgot Tuck Tuck was a goblin. <laughs> so directly after casting the uh, Rabble Master, and I'm like, I now have to attack with this guy that I was holding back to block. Every single turn, <laughs> I was I couldn't believe it. I'm like, how do I get this thing off the battlefield? So, I thought I thought I, I completely threw the game. After well, I so. thought honestly you had a wall of mana. I thought that if the second I blocked anything, it was gonna be like, oh, you know, if you block, Ed wins. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it, it was it was a really good game, and I, I uh... yes. Yes, it was a good game. It was again, a very good sir, game. Again, sir. again. So I guess uh, I've won one, Travis has won one, and I'm facing Trav Travis in what will be a definitive final. It will. To, good luck. There's the a whole lot of red in that in that game. Yes, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of red, a lot of, lot of quick quick casting stuff. So yeah. thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Absolutely. And uh, we'll see you soon. See you later.